Good day, welcome to Mortinet Design. In our continuation of our studio apartment design that we have embarked on for some days now. So here we want to work on the elevation and let us go there and show one of the pages that contain the elevation. So you want to develop this program and how to do and make it a look have a beautiful uh, appearance at every side that you click on. So how do we do that? We start the project straight up and we continue as we are done. So here now this is the ground floor plan. And the ground floor plan remember how the whole structure used to be. The first thing is that you need to get a roof before you beautify your elevation. So what you need to do first is to create a roof how the roof will fall whatsoever will be happening is what you need to do on that aspect so the first uh, beautification of uh, of uh, what is it called of any building is that you should put a roof no matter what the case may be let the roof be installed and work within the roof to get what you want to get done so that is what we want to do here and we are going to work our way towards that now as you have done with this the whole aspect you need to work on now is that you go to the level three where the roof is going to situate them so remember to always subscribe to our channel and you click our subscribe button and give us a top top up or more of the video that are coming and remember to call this on the notification because the project that we are not going to stop until we find it so now what we do here is that you click on architecture then you go to roof then you are going to roof here by footprint and what kind of roof we want to do here is a straight down flat roof that we want to work on and it's not going to take too much of time only that it's going to take the shape of what we want it to take and look like so you click here and you start the process by what so what you do is that you start by sorry click here and you start this by offset to 600 as is what the if of the loop is required to so replace it around this side everywhere you have a external wall so that is going to go around and fix that for you so we work on that basically and we continue your attention towards what is needed and remember when you are doing the project like this a lot of the uh, confusion must set in but do not look up on what you are doing let your mind be straight playing with what you are creating and by the time you are done with it you are going to see the beautiful uh, experiment that you are performing so a lot will be done here and you should pay attention to what you are doing so the beauty of the elevation it may not come exactly the way they are presented to you in the course because that is a project for somebody so this one is actually a tutorial so you must work on that one so after you have done this if you release this one now the uh, what is it called the elevation the roof is going to have a lot of what a lot of heat and contours and whatsoever and that is not what we want we just want to trade down but well, let me give you a sample of what i'm saying here when you click finish now go to site and go and see what i'm talking about see the way the roof falls this is not the kind of roof i want i just want a flat perfect roof that will flow one side and regulate so this is the roof that this one will create but i don't want this one so i did the roof and go to the site or anywhere you can see this roof plan flatly so you click here and say define slope so it is where you have removed every slope that is available here now you click only once and say to define that slope for you so at this junction if you leave this roof like this it's going to be too high so let us see something we are talking about go to elevation so click finish on that and you're going to see see the roof the way the roof take it's and bent up so on this remove this from uh, so this is the roof it's too high for any design to take place on it so what we do is that you go back there 
I mean site. So you select this. After you select this edit, and you reduce the slope from here. You reduce the slope to something like okay, four four degree will be definitely okay. So you look at it from that angle and see what I'm talking about. So you can see. So the degree of the the rope is done. So this thing is regu regu regulate fast. So in as much you can throw down water. So you can increase it to five. That's you see purple. So as we have done with this one, good. But I'm not going to drop my roof from that level. So I'm going to create a temporary level from here now. Click on this and say create similar. So from here you look for the roof like one and I mean 1800 from there so you take this roof from here and you say based on level 5 so it moved there up straight up so without doing anything so now my roof is going to be a little bit taller and I'm going to have something ahead of this place so that is why I elevate the roof but I can decide to reduce it based on what what I was just, I just say minus minus 700 so it comes down a bit so good oh well and good so the next thing you need to do is to create the the wall above the so you how do you do that you click this and say click wall duplicate and you say this wall is going to be something tiny, which is going to be 150. You just put it that way and you reduce the property from here to edit and you change it to something like 150. So that's okay for you and say okay. So this wall now you are going to select. So what we do is to select the center line of this wall and that's where we're going to base it everything on. So you start dropping it or it will even okay, drop it. So after you drop it off, you will see what you have done and if it's okay by what you are what you did, so then leave it. If it's not, then you still continue to work when the time you get your idea right. So this is what I'm doing here now. So I align this wall to what I want them to do. So that is it. So I prepare it in this way. So I'm not going to do this one because I'm going to do it for another design basically to that point. So align this one that is appealing and make sure that all the things are just the external work that I'm work, we are working on. So as we have done this one, click finish. First of all, go to self elevation and from here, as we done with that, this is okay. Now you go to the 3D. Try to find the deep position so that you'll be able to see clearly everything you have done. So, do what? So, as we have this one now, the next thing for you to do is to select the roof. After you select the roof, no, select the wall. Select every wall and every wall at that level. Select them. Select the wall. Select everything. So, as you have it now, in this manner, select this one too. So what you need to do is to say attach to what? Attach to top of the base. So you just attach that and select. So that one will clip and will clip to it. So you can now look at it from the south elevation and see what we have designed and see what we have created. So this is the front we look like. This is the way the whole is situated and function alike. So as we have done this one and this one means something that we have created. So the next thing that you want to do is to take this work, particular work. So we're going to take this particular two gentle work. Press elevation. Go to west or east or silver. The north where you can see that particular work, and you click on it and say, so based on constraint, and there you say attach. So what we want to do is on connected wall and we are taking it to something like 6,000. Good. So release it. It's much higher. So now you can check it from 3D whether to fit the application of what you want. So this is another dimension of this design.
I'm going to increase it again because I don't like it. it's too short for me. So I'm going to use 6500. I want it to be more higher. So look at it from the elevation and the south. So you find that clickable. And this is the presentation that we are talking about. So as you have done this one, so the next thing to do is that we want to create a window around this place. So after we create the window around this place, we see that your site setting will be coming out little after the order. So what we do is that you create here, go to this place and say, then I want to use Cote Wall to create that particular window. So what we do, I choose this and I will tell you to say Cote Wall stop front. So this way, I'm going to change my idea. So empty panel system. I'm going to use panel system, exterior, things like this. So I'm going to take this one and just say 1,200. And this one to 1,200. So when I have a million and everything, so I'm not going to use any. It's going to say none. None. So I don't want to have anything to do with them for now. The time it come and come and change the pattern if I see the way the verification is going on for me. So just follow through, follow step by step on this and you are going to get the whole idea of how we are creating. So if you've done that one now, you do this one again. So remember, this is going to be the stair O. So this is the stair O that things are going to be. So as you have done this one now, and you do that one, so you go to your select this, you can decide to click again. So the base, you change the base from here, you can go to 3D to go and see what I'm talking about. Yes, let me change. So this is what you have selected. So you change the base from this position, say base. The base of set is going to start from like say 900, then the, the height is going to be like 4500. So you can click apply and see what happens. Do you see that the the, the cutting will jump up? So that gives space to what you have done. You can see continue to adjust it. So this one, like a staircase, now you are going to edit it and remove it from the space that it's occupied so like here now you take this one and drag it down from this level this is where it's supposed to sit so you drag it to somewhere at the point here so when you click finish and that is done so that is the elevation we have created and that is the beginning of what we are doing in this space so a lot of things are coming and this is the beauty and these things are coming out independently so the elevation is given shape the idea is coming out one after the other so you can change it and see if you are feeling somehow that you have not seen what you are doing the best thing is for you to do check the options i used to tell you i love this because i love i love drawing in the dark uh, dark team so like this team now change back to light and i say okay so this is what you have done you can cast your shadow and see that okay the beauty of what you are doing is coming out so this is done. So now you go back to this, this place and you select this. So you select uh, the elevation, I mean, all instance in this level. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. It is very important for now because we just keeping us and give us motivation to do more. So as you select this one, now you say copy to clipboard and you go to foundation and you go and lay it down on the foundation. So align to the current view. So as this one is there now you change this particular so the number height which is called to 800 which is the below level of the slab so delete all instance which is all things that are not relevant in that position so after we've done that with that you go back here the base level and you say none so that nothing will be showing on that list so you select this and you say select all is done in this field and you delete everything that is applicable so the same thing you do for the doors, select all instances in the view and you delete everything applicable. So the same thing all around, wherever you have toilet door and everything. So delete them like that. So when you do that finish, then you go back to your and you see what you've done. Is it the same thing that what I have done or 
this is have anything different we thought I would do. So one thing I here I'm seeing here in this illusion is that this particular uh, this wall, uh, wall this one is not touching where it's supposed to touch. So select and see select all instance in this view. As you have done with that, then you come to here and you say minus one fifty. Minus one fifty we bring those things come down which is beautiful so this is done you can check it from 3d and see what we are creating we did meet the requirement and standard this is the beauty of what we are creating so we stop for now and the next uh what is it called in the next video which is the next episode we are going to detail the whole elevation and we are going to bring another sum of the beauty and dimension towards it and you're going to see the beauty of this out the way it's supposed to be so that is the gradual state of modeling and you must take a practical example if you are new to our channel kindly subscribe to us and continue and come be consistent with what we are bringing to you thank you